Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, it is an incredible and big month. High energy, high emotions playing out. Right around the 8th of the month, we are going to have a full moon. Now, it isn't just about the fact that this full moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships. It has to do with groups you belong to and group endeavors as well. But it's also the fact that this full moon will be speaking with Jupiter and Pluto. Jupiter and Pluto will make their first exact connection in the sky. They are part of an ongoing dance taking place throughout this year, connecting with perfection three times. So this is the first. And this perfected and close connection is speaking with that full moon adding intensity and emotion, adding hope, certainly, but it can make events feel bigger, more intense, and more consequential. So with this particular configuration of Jupiter and Pluto playing out in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money, money you earn, money that you spend, this configuration says with this full moon, it may not be the time to mix friends and money, Things can get either really complicated or they can lead to losses around this full moon. But even with that, this can be a truly powerful time where you come to a deepening understanding as to self-esteem and self-worth and where it is that the alliances that you have, the group endeavors and projects that you're involved in, where is it that they speak to a healthy place of self-value and self-love within you and where is it that they're costing you too much? They're costing you more than you are willing to give, than you are willing to pay. These may be some of the questions and considerations that arise for you at this time, especially around the full moon. If there have been ongoing issues, they will come to the surface now. If you've been pushing things under the rug, perhaps some resentments against friends, or perhaps it is that there's been toxic environments around professional group endeavors. Well, this is where it becomes so that you are ready to make a decision. You are ready to make a choice and you will viscerally understand the choice that is right for you. Under the same sky, we do have Mars speaking in a conversation with Uranus. That is a very surprising and quick moving energy. It's like when you know, you know, with Mars moving through a mind oriented part of your sky, it is as if the lights come on, you have the conversation, however impulsive it may seem. It is as the result of a key conversation or communication that you have at this time that you make some choice, make some decision, realizing who is for you and whom it is that you want to strengthen those bonds with and whom it is that has served their purpose in your life. As we navigate later into the month, right around the 23rd is when we have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with the workplace, the people who surround you there, the type of work that you're doing. It is also connected to how well you are taking care of yourself. So this new moon has a very surprise and quick moving energy to it. It is happening hand in hand with the Uranus, but also speaking in a conversation of tension with Saturn. So that connection with Saturn does suggest that things may not be as perfect or as seamless as you may like. And yet it is important to pay attention to what is happening now, not only in the context of this time frame, but also because it will be in 2021 that Uranus and Saturn will dance in a conversation of tension. So this is our first glimpse into what that larger energy is going to look like for you once you get into 2021. It'll be a glimpse into what's coming up ahead. But at least for now, know that this is where it can feel like things change very quickly. People coming, people going. And for most of us right about now, we are being asked to work from home. Our workplaces have already gone through transformations in that they look very different or they feel different based on the environments we find ourselves in or have to remove ourselves from. Well, it is going to be this particular new moon that brings further change very quickly. 
Like I said, new people can come in very quickly under this energy, filling new roles. It could be that your role changes very quickly as well. And there's a period of adjustment that you actually need that you may not feel you have time for. There's a suddenness around this time. Now, I would also add this energy can bring with it a very quick change to your habits. This is cold turkey kind of energy I'm seeing here. And so if it is that you know that there has been a a uh, bad habit that you've had or you consider it a bad habit, maybe it isn't as empowered or as loving. This is where you see it, you recognize it very quickly and you're able to make changes very quickly as well. Sometimes the best changes we can make happen slowly, incrementally. That certainly is uh, what all the science shows us that the incremental changes are the ones that last. But then we have these moments where we leap these moments where we realize that we can't go on the way that we have and we make a more dramatic change that's the energy we have playing out especially at this particular new moon there's also another layer here and that is when it is that you know you should change but it's hard but there's sacrifice but there's work and asking yourself if it's worth it well that will be up to you but if it is worth it, and if this is a change that you're ready for, it will be very clear. Your life will make it very clear to you. Where it comes to matters of love, it is a big, big month for you in the context of love. And the reason I say that is because of Venus. There is going to be a Venus retrograde special horoscope in the first part of this month. So be on the lookout for that. It is going to be especially relevant for you as Venus enters shadow in your opposite sign goes retrograde next month. Normally Venus spends about four weeks in a given sign per year. This time we have Venus taking us right into the middle of the summer. So you've got a nice long stay of Venus in your opposite sign. This is gonna give you a chance to really understand the relationship that you have, how you feel about it, if love is truly here for you or not. But I'll have a lot more to say about that in the Venus retrograde special, but I did wanna pay attention to it and bring your attention to it now. Ordinarily, Venus tends to bring with it a sweet energy, a soft energy. It can make it feel like partners are that much easier to attract. With Venus retrograde, those partnerships can feel especially intense at this time. We also have right now Mars, the other love-related planet. Well, it is Mars moving through a communication part of your sky this month. As I said, early this month, making a very difficult connection, uh, especially with Uranus. And it could be the most casual thing you say that provokes a very strong reaction. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, keep in mind that connections, especially online connections, can feel like they happen very quickly, they can bring with them an intensity, a passion to them, but just as quickly, uh, they can feel as if things are provoked and uh, may not be as sturdy or as steady as you had hoped. At the same time, Venus in your opposite sign does motivate you to connect with someone in a meaningful way. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I would be mindful of what you say, what you talk about, what you type, especially in our current world climate. Uh, we are getting to know each other on a mind level that much more. Mars is encouraging you to get to know this person on a mind level that much more, but that is where uh, things can go in all kinds of directions very, very quickly. But ultimately, I do think that this is a time when you are starting to ask yourself, do I love this person? Could I love this person or not? And if the answer is yes, then even with that sense of ups and downs with reactions and buttons pushed through communication, there still may be a sense of wanting to see this through. For those of you who are in an established bond, this can be a powerful time, certainly as well, thanks to that Venus. But I would add with Mars, do be careful because in very casual ways, you may say something and end up uh, hurting feelings or provoking a strong reaction, but it's also vice versa. Your partner may uh, just going about doing what they're doing, provoke you, push your buttons and provoke certain reactions within you that you then have to look at and seek to find understanding through. 
This is energy you especially need to be mindful of in the first part of the month, but I would say Mars all month in this part of the sky. Just be mindful of ways in which communication can reach the heart for the good, but also in ways that can be hurtful. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, certainly. I will say that full moon in the first part of the month, neither the full moon nor the new moon are necessarily the easiest celestial events that we are going to find, but this is such an important month, a time of transition, a time of awakening, and a time of truth as well. And for you, a lot of your truth and understanding comes through connecting with others, communicating with others, and through that understanding how it is that you are evolving, you are changing. All of us now are going through transformations culturally, um, collectively, in countries, right? In our communities, but personally as well, individually as well. You truly do come to know yourself more clearly as you strive to connect with others and know who you are in relation to them. And chances are, as you do, there are going to be times that feel uncomfortable, but there'll also be moments where you see things in others and you see things in you that you love very much. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes like Saturn special horoscopes, like the Venus retrograde special horoscopes coming this month, and so much more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.